In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the intersection point of two lines using linear equations. In the last video, we found the xy coordinates of the intersection using the find function. Um, but now we can do it using a, a new method uh, with, with linear equations. So when we're using linear equations, we'll put the coefficients uh, of our, our equations into a matrix and the solutions uh, into a column matrix. So um, uh, the way we do that uh, is we'll have to rewrite our, our equations uh, a little bit differently. So we'll have, uh, for example, we'll have y uh, minus 3x equals 2, and then uh, we'll also have y plus 2x equals 7. Um, and so um, when we do this, we, we should have um, when, when you solve linear equations, you should have the same number of equations as you do unknown variables. Uh, and therefore, when we do this in MATLAB, the coefficient matrix uh, should be a square matrix with the same number of rows and columns as the number of variables that we have. Um, and so uh, what I mean by that is, is, um, is this. So um, A is going to be our coefficients matrix, and that's going to have one, uh, minus 3 and then our new equation will be 1 and then 2 and so if you can't see it right away this is basically just uh, these are the y values from our equations and then this column is are the x values uh, and so hopefully you can see that um, and then so that's that's gonna be our coefficients matrix and then the next one is gonna be, hold our solutions uh, so that will be 2 and uh, 7. And you, you could also write this, uh, you know, instead of like this, you could have that uh, just be 7 there. But I just did it to emphasize that it is a column matrix uh, holding, holding our solutions. So uh, I'll, I guess I'll just keep it this way for now. But the, um, now, now we can solve it to find where the intersection occurs. Uh, so er, essentially just where these two lines are equal. Uh, the next step can be thought of mathematically as doing matrix division of A into B. Um, that's, that's really similar to taking the inverse of A and multiplying it uh, by the matrix B, although the MATLAB documentation says that's not quite how the algorithm works. Uh, so the way that we do this is uh, using this, this operator that looks like this. Um, and so so uh, we'll have we'll uh, we'll have our solutions, uh, and that's uh, we'll do we'll do this operator. Um, we'll, we'll have a this little operator and then b, uh, and that's going to give us our the the values of our variables uh, when the two lines are equal. So if I run this, you can see that um, we get uh, two solutions, and this first. Uh, this first value is going to correspond to our y because it was the first column uh, in, in our coefficients matrix and the second value will correspond to the x because it was our second value. So if I wanted to extract that I could say uh, y equals solutions 1 and uh, x is equal to solutions 2. Um, and so uh, I'll just uh, and there you go. So that's a little bit easier to see. Uh, and I mean, those are the basics of how you do linear equations. It doesn't have to be, uh, you don't have to use it to find the intersection of two lines. Uh, you can use it for a lot of things, actually. Uh, and so that's it. Uh, another thing we can, we can do is check, check our solutions by multiplying the two matrices together, uh, specifically our, our A and the uh, solutions matrix. So A times solution. Uh, and we should get back the, the values of our our equation, this uh, 2 and 7. So, oops, solutions. And, and there we go. So we get them back. Uh, in the next video, I'll cover F-solve. And um, if you have any questions on this stuff, uh, just write, write in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.